Hey you guys! Welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by the title of this video today, we are doing a February empties. I know, we're pretty like crazy here, but um, I've got a decent amount of stuff. Some of it is a bit out of the ordinary for me, but I figured I would share it with you nonetheless. So, let's jump into this. Uh, shout out to my bro, oh man, it's Mike for being the cameraman today. He's helping me hammer out a lot of videos, so I will link his channel down below. First things first, we have a box of tampons. These are the Tampax Pocket Pearls. Um, I got them on sale for like $6 at Walmart for a pack of 36 I usually just buy the jumbo boxes of 96 at Costco for $16.99. I think they're regular $19.99, but every now and again they go on sale for $16. And that's usually when I buy like a box of the supers and a box of the regulars, so we have like 200 tampons at a time. It's so much more cost effective that way if you can do it. If you have a Costco, it's so much cheaper to buy that kind of stuff there because it's you get so much more for the price. Because on average at Walmart, this 36 box is $7.98. So if you do the math on that, you're saving money by going to Costco. Um, up next, we have a shave cream. This is the EOS shave cream in the scent Lavender Jasmine. I personally have pretty much stopped using shave creams. I've pretty much just used the ones in my collection and I haven't purchased any more. And I don't intend to because I just like using soap or conditioner. Like I have some old conditioners that I didn't like for my hair. They're just as good for shaving your legs. I have a Makeup Forever sample. This is the Step 1 Skin Equalizer Primer. Used this one day. It worked great. It did its job. It's a primer. I have a candle. It's been a while since I've had a candle in my empties. This is the Bath & Body Works Vanilla Bean Noel. Every Christmas I have to buy one. Whether I get it on sale or full price, I don't care. This is one of those things that's like my favorite candle outside of the birthday cake. Is it birthday cake? I think it's birthday cake. Or frosted cupcake or one of the two. Um, candles from Bath & Body Works. This is my favorite scent. And I just love the way it distributes the scent all over the house. I actually have like four in my collection. I got them when they were on clearance a few years ago. And I just put them out every year because I love them so much. I used up a technology thing this month. This is the Whoosh Screen Shine Cleaner. I discovered this before it was a thing. This was on Dragon's Den, I want to say in season seven. And it's basically a water-based, non-toxic, alcohol-free technology cleaner. So I use it to clean my monitor, clean my laptop, clean my bed screen, like clean everything. And you can eat it. I remember the demo on Dragon's Den when the guys, the pitchers came into the den and squirted in their mouth like it was mouthwash. My just looking at me like, what? It's water-based and it works. It's really cool. It comes with a cleaning cloth. Um, you can get this for like $3 at Stables, this mini size. Uh, I also have a jumbo bottle. It was really good. And it started off in Canada, which I thought was really cool. And it was in the den, and David and Arlene missed it, so naturally I had to buy it. Um, I also used up, this is the um, Equate version of Head and Shoulders Dandruff Shampoo. This is a two in one bottle. I don't use this regularly, like once a week I'll put this on my scalp just because my scalp gets so dry and flaky in the winter time. Um, so much cheaper by the Equate brand, and it works just like the Head and Shoulders brand. I'm pretty sure they're made in the same distribution house. I threw this in here because I used up some indigenous samples this month. Um, just random things I had kicking around, like Rorvis tea cleansers, like little small baby ones. And I just threw it in here to remind myself that that's what I did. I'm getting rid of some slippers. Oh, 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 the slippers have a packet in it. They have the bottom half of the Makeup Forever sample in here. These slippers have seen their day, like the soles have started to come out of them so I got these at Old Navy for three dollars when they were on clearance so they're going away to slipper heaven um, I used up this sample this came from the lovely Liz Anderson this is the first day beauty facial radiance pads they help exfoliate and tone your skin um, these are great these are expensive so when I get a sample of them I tend to use them rather regularly I do have a drugstore version of them by Nip and Fab and I also think they're just as good so if you're looking to save a buck there is a dupe but I'm super grateful for the samples, so thank you, Liz. Um, I've been on a tea kick, if y'all didn't know. I'm trying to get myself to drink more tea. And I know that's a long shot sometimes, but if you guys know me and if you've been following me for a while, I have a caffeine addiction. And it's not going anywhere. So I, I went to David's Tea and said, yo, guys, I hate tea. Every time I drink tea, I puke. So can we try to find me some little teas that I might actually not curl on? And so they basically, I spent $8 and they gave me like four or five different types of tea to get like one cup of, which was a great way to like test the palate and see if 
like what I liked and what I didn't like. So I used up two little ones so far, Vanilla Swirl, which is an herbal tea. It says this, bit, blah, 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 this creamy vanilla infusion tastes just like a soft serve ice cream cone. Sweet. It does not. It's not disgusting. I'll drink it, but it's not the best. So I do have a little bit more. This is actually um, getting discontinued. So of course, the one thing I tried that I like the first tea I tried that I kind of like is getting discontinued. So I still have like 20 grams, and so I've enough to make three more cups. So I'll definitely use it, but it's not my favorite. Um, I'll stray away from it. But the ingredients in it are lemongrass, pineapple, white chocolate, 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 chocolate. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, globe. Amorth, corn flour, stevia extract, natural flavoring, and then it says it contains milk and soy. So it's not horrible, it's not the best thing I've ever tried though. And this one is the best thing I ever tried. This is the birthday cake Roybus tea. It says a sweet and festive Roybus blend that brings the taste of birthday cake to your cup any day of the year. Sprinkles and all. Ingredients, red and green Roybus, honey bush sprinkles, ice cream bits, natural and artificial flavoring. Um, so it is caffeine free, but the thing about rooibos teas is they're uber hydrating. They're packed with electrolytes. So if you're struggling to drink water and stay hydrated, try drinking a rooibos tea because it definitely helps quantify your H2O intake so you're not as dehydrated. Um, which has been great for me because I do drink a lot of water, but sometimes I get bored of just drinking water. So to have a tea that also hydrates me, is kind of exciting. Um, and I do really like it to the point where I bought the full size tins. Like, it's crazy how much I like that tea. And then I have a shampoo and a conditioner duo in here. This is the Garnier Fructis Grow Strong Shampoo and Conditioner. It's a fortifying shampoo with apple extracts and ceramide. So this was okay. I got it on sale. I wanted to try it. I prefer by Garnier the Damage Eraser or their hydrating one. I do like Garnier. Don't mind herbal essences. I'm like pretty easy going with my shampoos and conditioners. So I just buy the cheap stuff that usually works rather well. So that works for me. Um, I have a memory card in here. It died. It just stopped reading things. I think. Yeah, this is broken. All the little pins in the back are broken. I have no idea how they broke. But they just died. They went to have this. This is a 32 gig black star memory card. It's a class 10. It wasn't cheap, but it died. Press F to pay respects. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, leave a sad face emoji or something. RIP memory card. This is the second one of my YouTube career I fried, so <laughs> it is what it is. Um, as you guys know, I've been gymming hardcore. I have a travel size deodorant in here. This is the Invisible Secret pH Balance Baby Powder deodorant. I didn't like it. I'm now onto a new one. I have a couple of samples in here. This is a sample of, this is the Coconut Skin Primer by First Aid Beauty. I like it, not enough to go buy a full size yet though. Um, and then in here I have the Labrador Tea Night Cream by Indigena. I emptied this, this is a really nice cream. It's very thick and it's super hydrating. It really just absorbs into your skin while you sleep. So 10 out of 10 recommend that. And then I have the Head of a Razor in here. Yep, I always have one of those somewhere. I don't know how I don't cut my finger more, but anyway. Um, that's it though. That's pretty much it for my empty. I got a lot of garbage in the bottom of this bag. Um, <laughs> so I'll give this video a thumbs up if you like seeing what's in my trash. Hit subscribe, turn on notifications so you get notified when I post new content, and leave me a comment down below telling me what's in your beauty trash this month. And don't forget to hit subscribe to my vlog channel. In the end card, just click on the face where I'm doing this with the vlog camera, and bam! you can be subscribed. Until next time, guys. I love you. <laughs> Bye.